Hello guys and welcome back. And today I'm going to be starting my new YouTube Let's Play channel where I hold a camera at the, at the TV and play video games. Nah, just kidding. I'm just here to show you uh, some new stuff I got. Like this TV. Um, so the story on the TV is, is quite a story that I wanted to share. Um, but first, I'll, I'll give you the basics of it. Um, before you laugh, yes, it's a Polaroid. Uh, I'm okay with that. It, it's like bargain bin, but um, it's okay. After my uh, problems with the Sony Trinitron that I had in here, um, I did take it apart. I told you in the last video that I did in this room, I did take it apart. And I did mess with it. I, I messed with it for probably 45 minutes trying to adjust it. And it just would not fix. Um, and here you can see in these pictures how off it was. It was kind of tilted sideways. So, you know, I tried to I tried to just get through it and say, you know, yeah, it doesn't bother me, but it bothered me. Um, because it, it made you want want to tilt your head to the side a little bit, you know. Not to mention the color separation up in the in one corner, you know, the tilt on the other corner. It was very no, it wasn't very noticeable with like full screen video, but widescreen was very noticeable because you could just see it like that. So I moved that out to the shed. It's current. It's it's covered up and pretty safe. So yeah, I don't I don't want to get rid of it. Maybe one day it could be fixed, or maybe it could just be the shed TV. Um, because it, it's a nice shed. It it won't be um damaged by the elements out there. So anyway, the story on this Polaroid TV here is that uh, a few weeks ago, my wife and I just decided, you know what, we're gonna go out. And we're going to find a good TV. Um, which turned out to be a lot more difficult than we thought. Because, I, you know, a few years ago, you could walk into any old thrift store and trip over some good TVs. You know, just anywhere you went. But it seems now that thrift stores are probably turning them away more. And people, most people have gotten rid of theirs already. And, you know, a lot of them just end up going to the dump, which is really sad. I hate that because there's some, some of these TVs are in perfect working order and they just get tossed out when people like me would enjoy playing with them. But I can, I can only have so many TVs in my house. Uh, but anyway, so we, we ended up going to the first thrift store that was near us. And, you know, they had a couple of TVs, but they weren't really great. There was one that I liked, and one of my biggest um, features that I wanted to get was component in. So I really wanted to find a component uh, in TV, um, preferably flat or flat-ish, uh, and in good condition, and... The first store we went to had, like, ones that were kind of on the big side, because I, I really didn't want to go too big. Um, you know, I think this is a 19-inch, so that's just perfect for me, because I can pick it up and carry it easily. And it's not too bulky or big. Um, but it fits the room really nicely. And by the way, this Metal Slug is playing on the PS2. It's the, um, the, the SNK collection, uh, and it is component in, so this TV is component, uh, it, it doesn't look great on the camera because the camera is not going to pick it up very well, but you can see some of those pixels in there and it looks pretty. But anyway, back to the story. So we, um, I didn't like the first couple TVs I found. One was an RCA and kind of done grungy, and I've had bad experience with RCA TVs. They're 
garbage, so I didn't want to get that one. And the other one that I saw was a flat screen and did have component and was very tempting. It might have been a Phillips, but the bezel was all cracked up. It had been abused and it did not look like good. And plus they were asking like $30 for it and it did not, it was not in good enough condition for that. Uh, so then we start going to other stores and we hit store after store after store and we drove all around the area. Um, in the end, we, we ended up driving about 80 miles that day, just in a loop, going from store to store. Um, it's also a good thing my truck has a cab because it was raining that day, which also didn't make it great. So it's like the end of the day and like every store just had either no TVs or awful TVs. And I was so frustrated and, you know, bummed out because, you know, it was not the way I was planning for things to go. So I said, all right, we're going to this one more store. You know, maybe hopefully we'll get something, but if not, I might just go back to that first store and get the, the crummy TV just because I've been out here all day with nothing to show for it. And then in the last store we went to, the sixth store, I found this one. And it's it was pretty much in perfect condition, had component. You know, $35 is a little more than I was hoping to pay, but... Uh, you know, when, you, when you're in that, when you've been driving around all day looking for something and you finally found a good, find a good one, yeah, $35, no problem, we'll do it. <laughs> um, and, you know, yeah, Polaroid is kind of a, is kind of known as a, as a garbage television maker, at least from what I've seen on the internet, people complaining about their TVs breaking in six months and stuff. Doesn't make me feel great, but I'm happy with this because it works. It looks great. The The picture isn't skewed. It has component in. Um, the only thing that seems to be wrong with it is the front buttons. Um, ha most of them don't work, and the ones that do, you kind of have to push them just right. Uh, but that's okay because if I need to do uh, picture tweaking or anything, I just whip out the... Uh, the Harmony remote and do it that way. So anyway, that's the story on the TV. It is here. It looks great. I'm very happy with it. Um, and let me show you how it works. So pretty much the only, the only video source that comes into the TV by a regular composite is my Pi, which is uh, down there in the corner. Um, every, uh, everything else is either component or being fed through the DVD recorder, which then feeds the TV by component. So if you look in there, you'll see I have two regular old video switchers, but I'm actually using one of them to, um, switch the component video. So instead of plugging in, like, you know, left, right, and video, I'm plugging in green, red, and blue into the, uh, the switches. And then this one, the one on the top, switches the audio. So you just have to uh, switch both of them when you do it, but I think that works really nicely. And by doing that, I can go... Input 1, that's the DVD recorder. Input 2 is the PS2. Input 3 is the PS3, which as you can see is currently running GTA 5. And uh, I'd just like to point out something that I'm very happy with about GTA. They actually made the game run in 4.3 mode, as opposed to most games that were from that generation where if you try and run it on an old TV, they just 
put black bars on the top and bottom because they're too lazy to program it for 4.3. But Rockstar actually programmed it for 4.3. And, uh, you know, I, most GTA I do is on the four na- the PS4 now, obviously, but sometimes I like to just get on the old one and play around on the CRT. It's fun. But anyway, that's the third input. And then the fourth input is the old Xbox, which I guess my game has already ended. My average life was eight minutes. Okay, back in back in Halo. So that's the Xbox and the PS2 and the PS3 all running component to the TV. And they look great. I'm really happy with it. You know, very clear. Very colorful. So anyway, that will do it for me, guys. I'm glad you watched the video of me, like, rambling and talking about my thrift store TV. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And watch out for new ones, because you never know when I might upload one. Talk to you later. Bye.